So today I want to talk about charge point holdings <clears throat> and I want to go straight to the weekly chart because on the weekly chart I had identified a weekly buy level and just to point out to you the level that was formed we had a drop in price with a basin candle and a second basin candle and then we had a rally out <clears throat> now one thing to note is that although the rally out was say 3x the width of this zone the fact that price could not take out the three dollar level where we had resistance in the form of selling wicks suggested that if and when price returned to this zone the probability of it holding was less than stellar and what you can see is this candle here actually closed below the zone so although price has been hanging out between $1.80 and $2.10 this zone has been used up meaning there are no remaining unfilled orders between $1.80 and $2.10 so before we continue with the analysis let's quickly look at this article because it talks about this red candle the red week this past week so charge point a leading EV charging network reported fourth quarter earnings that met analyst expectations but saw its shares tumble due to a revenue shortfall in comparison to the same quarter last year charge points revenue decreased by 24 percent with network charging system revenue experiencing 39 percent drop despite these declines subscription revenue showed resilience climbing 30 percent year over year now the CEO Rick Woomer attributed attributed the quarter, quarter's performance to strategic focuses on operational excellence or execution rather gross margin normalization and significant reduction in cash usage Wilmer also emphasized the company's commitment to innovation and operational excellence as drivers for future growth now looking forward and it's all about the forward guidance ChargePoint anticipates revenue between 100 and 110 million for the first quarter of fiscal year 2025 this guidance midpoint suggests a 90 percent decline compared to the same quarter of the previous year. Now the market's negative response to the revenue miss reflects concerns over the company's near-term growth perspectives. Charge points full fiscal year 2024 revenue grew by 8% but overall net loss widened and gross margins shrank across the board. So just a, just a bad report all around. Uh, following the earnings report, analysts at Goldman Sachs noted ChargePoint reiterated its target of achieving positive non-GAAP EBITDA in fourth quarter fiscal year 2025. They believe the ability to meet and path to achieving this target will be a key f focus on the call, wrote the firm, maintaining a neutral rating and a $2 price target on the stock. All right, so again, I'm going to remove this weekly buy level. I'm also going to look at where price stopped going higher started going lower you can look at this pivot high look to the left you have pivot lows so obviously this was a resistance level at that two dollars and forty cents question is where does price go from here you can say potentially you have a head and shoulder reversal pattern inverse rather uh, but For me on this stock, the fundamentals have to um, supersede the technicals in order for the technicals to move higher. One of the time frame I want to look at is the weekly chart. And yeah, it's just been range bound. Again, although you have the head of the inverse, head and shoulder pattern, the fact that price could not take out two dollars and fifty cents uh, to me puts this pattern inverse pattern inverse head and shoulder uh, pattern not really legit um, so first thing that we need to see is price take out 240 and then three dollars 
all right take out two levels and then you might be talking of a potential reversal and for me I would want to see I'm okay losing some of the initial gains because um, I want more confirmation that charge point will go higher in the future thanks for watching subscribe please like the video